How many warm-up sets you do? I don't really do. I don't really do deads. Me neither. He's running the program today, so. I don't do deads ever, buddy. He said you are. He, a you, big motherfucker, bro. bro. He's six ten. God dang. Do the like and do the subscribe and do the share a little bit. He start, start throwing that back. No diddy. What? Hey, hey yo, hold on. I hey. The camera, the volume's on, bucko. I could pull that shit <laughs> hey, up. Hey, hey, I said no diddy. <laughs> that means pause. You ain't know that? You ain't hip? I didn't know that. Man. I don't stay on the internet, bro. I post my shit and go. Nah, that means pause now, bro. You about, hey, you see, what, what ethnicity are you? Oh, you 30. <laughs> he 30. He looked 12, but he 30. How old are you? Now, if we all mix genetics, we would have a Benjamin Button. Can, he said uh, I was talking to his gym crush. The whole time it's my girlfriend. <laughs> For the most part, you're, you have like songs on your video. I don't, I usually oh, you'll but this one right here. Uh, I've seen that video, yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's <laughs> Yo, check this out. That's that's all mine is talking shit. But I, I'm not gonna lie, I got really lucky that no one else was doing the 360 fitness stuff. But a lot of people, the problem is a lot of people are doing the stuff that worked two years ago and mm -hmm. three years ago and four years ago. Especially during COVID, people really looked at the gym because they didn't have anything else. So like the really dark, low exposure, depressing sort of stuff really did it hit home for a lot of people the next couple of years. But now it's like. COVID was four years ago. Oh, yeah. People are still posting like, oh, I'm depressed. Jim is your only, like, the gym is my only friend. It's fighting like, demons it's and like, shit. God, you've been fighting demons for the past four years. Have you, like... Did you go to therapy yet? Yeah, like, oh, this is a journey. Bro, this is not a journey anymore. You actually need help. I mean, <laughs> you need help, dog. And uh, I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just saying, like, you look at a lot of the stuff, it's always like, putting it's, up. It's kind of like you enjoy and being and it's like, sad. Right, that's you have to remember. That We're all getting better. Whole last freshman to senior year. <laughs> People are now, the, 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 the fresh freshmen that were posting that are now like grown ass adult, adults in the working world. Stuff that I'm noticing, especially since I'm older, it's like four years ago, I was what, 20, 20, 25. <laughs> but like, even still, me, I still think that I'm younger than I actually am because like, this has been my life for so long. And I surround myself with a lot of younger people. Four years ago, you were 22. Four years ago, you were what? How old are you? 23. I was 23 back then. So, we still think about that we're still posting when we're 22, 23. But everyone else that were, like, maybe some of the 25, 26 year olds, maybe some of the stuff that you were posting at 23 would have resonated with me back then. Mm -hmm. But now I'm a 30 year, year old ass man. Yeah. You know, like, but it, it's <laughs> weird because if, like, me, you, and him walked into, like, a sporter, the high schoolers would think. We just are in like oh, freshmen dude, in college. You know, I was 18. Bro, oh, fuck, I'm not getting out here like quad backers. Bro, these they, kids nowadays. They're, they're like, you trying to deadlift? I'm like, dude, my like, knee hurts dude. from last month. You know, I, was, I was at the Arnold, right? And like, I was in, the, I was in one of the uh, gym for some kid was like, came up to me like, dude, you're huge. I'm like, appreciate it, man. He's like, how old are you? I was like, I'm 29. He goes, uh. <laughs> That's oh, fucked up. No, nah, because he was like, you're huge for somebody yeah, 18, you're, you're, you're but 30, you're you're you should be on like, test, trend. Like, I was like, oh man. Hey, that body dysmorphia fucking set in that minute. But, uh, <laughs> no, at the same time, I just, I did a lot of dog shit training when I was, you know, younger, and I really missed out on it, and now I'm trying to, like, say, I'm trying to come back to it, but I'm, here I am talking. It is what it is. But, um, no, I just, we're in a really, we're like in a new era of gym content where you really have to curate something that's either new or you have to be almost brutally honest to the point that it's like, you just, you curate like a cult, like Paul. Like Alec, he used to train here, now he's in Houston. Like Alec, he did, he like, he moved out there and now he like, 
for a while it wasn't like he, he was he just kept posting TikTok and he just he responds to like almost every fucking comment and it's always like talking stuff about being but he's like very transparent with this and for even last year he only had like sub 10k but he had I mean it was like every video was doing numbers just because people were like Sam told people wanted to watch him people wanted to watch him and before a couple years ago it was like everyone wanted to watch certain people because the edits were cool the physique was cool yeah. But now you got again the 20, 18-year-olds that looked up to you from these guys with their, these physiques, and they're like, "Oh, these are like God physiques." They're now twenty-four years old, and they're like, "I have that physique." <laughs> that wasn't like as a, like that's why I think people are looking to Sam Smith because it, he he is such a down-to-earth dude, but he's also just he's got a physique that a lot of kids most likely unfortunately will never see. Like, and his diet, I, I feel right? Like and his diet, diet is like, like last year when I was like. People Again, like the kid that came up to me, he was like, oh, you've got an insane physique. And I said, how old I was? He was kind of like, oh. Yeah. People are starting to realize that, unfortunately, the natty physiques, realistically, like the two natty physiques are very obtainable. When you're 16, 17, 18 years old in the high school, you just, like, just start to you're looking at some people that have their really good ge natty genetics, and they look at it like, oh my god, I, like, I want to look like that. And then two years later, they're like, well, shit, now what? Not only that, it's just <laughs> social media and gym specifically has just been blowing up. It's saturated. It's saturated. So you gotta Everybody find, you gotta find to. where you belong, and you gotta work. You gotta work around how you want what you want. To do. No, what my what my what I try to do with mine is just be funny. Yeah, 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 I'm not trying right. to I'm not trying to have Sam Solix videos. I'm not trying to have mine like that because as yeah, soon as as it. soon as I post, I don't film in the car or nothing like that. Yeah. As soon as I posted, the first comment was like, "Oh, he's trying to be Sam Solix." Well, I'm is, like, but the thing is, at the same time, yes, yes, because yeah. guess what? Sam set a tone. He really set a tone. And it's nice for, it's really nice to me to see, like, that he set a really good tone for people that don't necessarily can't afford hot, the stupid yeah. edits. You talk to an editor now, it's like, you want one YouTube video, buy, it's like 500, 500 bucks, bro. He's really cool, yeah. it's where I don't even know how half the shit works. Dude. I just, but yeah. so the fact that Sam can just set up the camera and talk to it, and just do his thing, mm -hmm. and then it's just like, does another cut, does another cut. It's really nice because it gives people that can't afford they can't afford this, right? Yeah. And they have to shoot on the phone, and they can't afford a $700 editor, that it gives them the opportunity to be able to still get out there and reach people, and you can just be walking around talking to your phone all day. Literally. And people are still interest, interested. Yeah. I love that, because it, it opens it up to people that can't afford it. And yeah. I think that's really great for people, and yeah. it's, it's, it's a really cool thing. And yes, they try to be like Sam Solo, but it's, at least you're trying to, he gives you, an opening to do something. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, if you're trying to sit there and you're like hiring some editor and pay six hundred dollars yeah. for a fucking TikTok and gets ten views, and you're like, it's really hard on that on a person to be like, I did I all can't that. I take it. I take it. Yeah. But you set up your phone. You set up literally. Your, you spend a little bit of money on a, on a microphone, sure. Yeah. But what, like a two fifty? Two fifty microphone, your phone, because you already have everyone <laughs> yeah. mostly, mostly has phone. Versus like the lens. Again, I bought this to use. I broke the lens cap. It's nine hundred dollars in the body. Yeah. It's like an eighteen hundred. That's an iPhone piece. twelve. So you can do your content for the iPhone twelve and the three three hundred dollar mic. Because three years ago, you had to have had something to have where it was something. like, all right, man, we're following you around yeah. here. Who are you? I don't know. I just I think it's really cool. You might get shit because it's like Sam Silk like, but yeah. let's just say I am some big famous person and I have the all these cool edits and then you try to do a cool edit. Guess what? You're now trying to be me. Literally. It's like, all right, well you're gonna yeah. everyone's trying to be someone. But I changed it so much since I first started. When I first started it was like you're me. And that's, it, that's was, the it was me like filming, talking shit, lifting. I wasn't really showing even one fourth of my workout. Now I'm showing none of my workout and it's a five minute video of me talking shit. I'll put like, have you seen those videos of people doing breakdowns of like fight animes and shit? And it's funny as fuck, they have memes in it and shit. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm trying to do with mine. So I'm just adding memes in it and trying to make it funny. And then I do interviews with people and stuff like that. Post your stuff, really, really engage with the audience. You really want to build that audience, not just an audience, but they be you want talking to build shit. a family. You know? <laughs> they, they be talking um, shit. They be in that motherfucker. Look, hey. It gets people talking. But they're you like, also have to remember that your person, their people, you know, oh, they just. I don't, I usually don't respond unless it's like, 
Unless it's like, oh, this is a great you, video, I, I all that do, shit. I do sneaker creasing. I used to do sneaker creasing videos. I still do it. Everyone's fun. But man, people used to just tear me apart. And it used to actually like, really get to me. Bro. Like, mentally, it would. It, it, like, but it's not shit that, it's, it's not shit that's wild. It's shit that, it's like, that's so out of pocket of something I actually like, am. I had someone, because people always think that I wear face, which I don't. Because I, like, I was a sneaker head. I'm a huge sneaker head. I've actually started, I'm like really getting rid of a bunch of my inventory just because I'm like, older I'm thinking about family and shit. but um like I used to I did sissy squats and I would crease it and literally like I've had comments where people are like stop wearing fake shoes and kill yourself and I'm, you're, you're, you're gonna tell me to kill myself about over oh, shoes? Fucking shoes like even dude. let's just say even if I was let's just say I was wearing fakes right why so who cares yeah. right I used to be upset with people that would wear fakes because like I was like oh I'm a sneakerhead I have to but it, look if you can't afford this twelve hundred dollar shoes but you really like them but you just like you don't have to some people feel like they need them to fit in and I wish they wouldn't feel like that they needed to feel like that they had to buy shoes like that. But if that's if, if you're at home and you're like struggling or your parents are struggling financially, you're struggling financially, and you but you want to try to like still feel like you fit in, and that's what you need to do. And that's what you need to do. And oh I'm not God. gonna like why would I judge you for doing for that? that? For that, I don't know. I just that, that to me <laughs> hey, that's just people like, are, people are mean, dude. Like, but hey, man, you should, Kill yourself, like, bro. Yeah. It's not like when I'm playing Call of Duty, people get upset with me. I'm like, it's like a fucking video game, dude. But it, it's <laughs> funny. It's funny because it's not something I'm insecure about. But like, I'm an actor as well, so okay, I do film yeah. and TV. When people critique that shit, that's what fucks well, me I'm up. I'm sure it does. That's yeah. what fucks me because I work way harder on I that. I used to sit on that. my phone and read comments and like my heart. I could like feel it. Like got that pump, huh? Dude, my quads are. Uh, I feel like my quads are. Uh, what's it? cramping? Uh. Has that ever happened to you? No. I don't know. I don't. I didn't drink a lot of fluid Banana. today. Plantain. Potassium pump. A lot of plantain. Am I right? He don't come here. He tell me he needs to come here. Yeah, it's whack. He just wanted to come and film with me, and I feel bad because I've been doing legs, and he's on arms. Oh, you're good, dude. Bucko. Relax. Yo. He called me Bucko. That's my dog's name. Bucko. That's crazy. I know. He's a good boy. He's a certified good boy. All dogs are. That's facts. There's one here at the fair. Like he kept running around and I went when? In the, at the fair, bro. And every time I tried to get him back, he would catch me before I got there. I was like, fast hey. as fuck. <laughs> Can I be on this side? Either. Either way. What's a piece of advice you would give somebody <laughs> just starting out as an influencer? Don't pay don't be discouraged by likes. And views. And views or comments because dude. And yeah, that comments. Shit hurts oh my, my feel. Oh my gosh, me too. <laughs> oh my Literally God. I posted me doing like RDLs with some straps. Okay? And literally, every, did you I see see that I was like, and listen, I went there just to film that. I didn't even, I wasn't really working out. I came here later that day. It was literally, the point of the video was for the straps. Just to, because I was excited that I moved up in weight enough to use the straps. But I have a better question. Oh. Acting, when you first start out, there's a lot of scamming and a lot of false information that people give you. What is some false information in scamming that they could look out for if they started in, as an influencer. I remember for my first brand deal that I ever got offered, I thought it was a scam, right? But I kind of entertained it until they asked if I could do a Zoom call and that's when I knew it was like legit and they also yeah. sent me stuff after. But I think my email got leaked to something because now I get bombarded with emails saying, oh, partnership, opportunity, partner. And I always look and make sure that the email has that little at the bottom where it shows the company. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like I a little thumbnail at the, I don't know. There's just different things that I look for. Never give out your bank information, obviously. No. If they ask you to pay for shipping or anything, no, no, don't do it. But you gotta be careful with that. I was worried, but luckily right after that first offer, I got mm -hmm. in contact with my management team. They I was do, about to say. They do all that for me. Do you still do your own editing? Really? Matt? No. He said, he don't? No, he said he has somebody else do it. Oh. His management team has somebody else do it. Wow. What, what, where'd he go through? I don't know. What? Wow. Oh. Especially for YouTube. I've been sitting there editing for a long time. Do you like editing YouTube um, videos or TikToks? I feel like if I had a better setup, I would like it on YouTube. A better camera. Sound. Sorry, sound wise. It picks up a lot of white. So go to, what's the music store? Guitar Center. You can go to Guitar Center or Best Buy and get you get a Q2U mic. Q2U? 
to you, Mike. Yeah. The okay. le le letter Q, the number two, and then the letter U. Okay. That that mic right there, Bucko, is what I use for my uh, video breakdowns. I'll show you so you can hear what it sounds like, but that's the mic I use for that. Uh -huh. And that's literally like $80. $80. And it's muy bien, muy bien. Tell them to like and subscribe and share a little bit. Do the like and do the subscribe and do the share a little bit. Say stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready? There you go. Oh. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe how fat you got, bro. I weighed 185 <laughs> looking like a goddamn bowling bro, ball. Look at this. Look at this dude. God look at dang. this. This dude was fat, bro. Uh, I remember when he looked like this uh, in 2017, and then yeah. I seen him again, and this boy looked like Bulby. <laughs> slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. That's crazy. I used to abuse it. I used to break it down and snort it. And then I drink like a fish. Hey, are you seriously gonna walk in front of the camera like that? He is. What? <laughs> or what? Are you really gonna? What? I got you, chat. I got you, chat. I had your back. I know you I... didn't say it. It's crazy, chat. Back in like 2015, I really Hello? liked that. I had to pass. They say, anyways. I was really like that. Nah, I would never. I got too much respect for the homies. When you're young and oh, dumb, shit connected. you just don't think about shit like that. Uh, I, you can jump in, bro. I got one or two more sets left. He just said chicken dick, bro. <laughs> he just called me a chicken dick. Let's see them chicken legs. All right, chat. We're, I'm here with chicken legs. What you got to say about that? Oh, we recording? Oh, we recording. <laughs> hey, uh, shout out to my mom back home. Shout out to my uh, shout out to my bodyguard right here. You know what I'm saying, uh, if you need a bodyguard, let me know. He's real cheap. Uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye to chat, Danny. All right, see you, chat. Going crazy, that ain't phase me. I ain't tripping about no lady. I ain't tripping on who made me. I did bitch, so don't play me. I'm telling the weak joke. She giving the deep throw. I'm giving the deep.